Want to see how art and food come together? Student producer Duncan Fox checked out some super cool gingerbread houses with MATC's baking and pastry students. Let's take a look. MATC prides itself on giving back to its students through events and scholarship opportunities. One of these events is the annual Gingerbread House Display at the Milwaukee Public Market. The Gingerbread House Display is a display of houses that we take over to the market, the public market in Milwaukee. They're houses that are produced by our students here at Milwaukee Area Technical College, your students in their first year, and it is a competition of ideas that they have to put into life of a gingerbread house. And the ideas can be anything. It's amazing. They go out on a fifth, they get voted on, on Thursday, and once they're down there, they'll be on display daily when the public market is open from, I think it's open from 10 until into the evening and then definitely on the weekends you know what's there. These are all student produced, the instructors just kind of oversee, make sure they have everything they need to be able to produce the houses. The public gets involved by going and looking at the houses and seeing how beautiful they are and they get to actually vote on the houses and then bid on the houses to potentially take home. Students spend hours of hard, meticulous work to get their gingerbread houses ready to go. Oh, hours. Um, from concept of like coming up with the idea and drawing it and seeing it come out into like a cardboard, you know, like conception of it, then into gingerbread, potentially like not baking it correctly the first time and then rebaking it. I would say at least 20 starting on up. It's crazy how long it takes. The gingerbread houses, depending on, they are all have a standard size board base, but depending on how high, big or tall or small, it really does vary. Some students will say they spend 40, 60 hours every waking moment on it. Some will spend a little bit of less time on it, but generally it's a dedication of, I would say, a minimum of about 30 to 40 hours of actual time working on the house from beginning baking to the end, the dry time, the construction in between. And then if we count all the sleepless nights and the nerves, it'd probably be a lot more than that. All of their hard work is paid back to them at the end of the competition. The proceeds that are raised go right back to the students. And that's really important because that's what MATC is about, giving back to the students. This is a competition for them to show their abilities, but we also like to give back and let them come back to the scholarship fund. That's where the money would go to. But they are also given some opportunities to win some prizes through the contest. We have the industry professionals come in, they have a score sheet, and they score on things like the detail, the amount of candy, um, the overall artisticness of the piece and then all those points are combined, divided, and then we give a first, second, and third place, which are cash prizes. You know, honestly, I went into this in, you know, initially thinking, gosh, it would be really cool to win, but I'm looking at it as, this has been a really great experience, like just getting to know all these awesome people behind me here. Hands down, if you win or you lose, you're winning in another way. It's just wonderful. Be sure to stop by the Milwaukee Public Market December 7th to December 16th to cast your vote and check out the awesome gingerbread houses. Wow, those houses look so great. I almost don't want to eat them. Did you have a favorite? No, they're gorgeous. They all took so much work. You can't pick a favorite, but I did love the puppy. <laughs> they're all so intricate. One looked like it had glass. Yes. Amazing. I don't know how they do that. No.